What's going on guys? I have some more ultimate team here. We're 26 and 7. Having fun since I revived this team, but I thought we needed to bring in a real superstar to help lead this offense. So I'm going to look no further than at my own Minnesota Vikings for Joe Webb. I'm paying 8,000 coins to get a 66 overall quarterback on my team. I don't do too many buyouts of players. I prefer to get players in packs, and I'll finish collections whenever I get them done. I get Michael Vick. He's going to go off to a collection. Sean Phillips, Dustin Keller, John Ryan, Marcel Darius, and Charlie Johnson, along with Matt Giordano. So I'm going to send some guys off to the collection. Vick is gone, Keller, Ryan. I'm going to keep Phillips because I like him from the Chargers. And now I'm going into another game here, and this guy is a 96 overall. I played a 96 overall in the last episode. Did pretty well. I'm going to let Joe Webb lead this offense. Now he is the starting quarterback at the moment. And looking through this guy's roster, he's got some very good players. But I want to see if I can take Joe Webb into the battlefield and come out with a victory. And so let's just quickly here get into the action. Here's the first play from scrimmage. Two tight ends. Foster in the backfield. Webb gives it to him, and he's going to fumble the ball on the very first play of the game. So we couldn't have had much more worse of a start than that. And so we're on defense, third and ten. Phillip Rivers looks to the end zone, and he finds Dallas Clark for six points, getting behind my defense. And he's up 7 nothing. forced me to go three and out, and he has the ball already at midfield. And Rivers is going to pass on second and eight. Pretty good protection going long, and I was in position with Sean Phillips, but it's kind of hard to get user picks that way, at least for me anyways. And now at the 19-yard line, he's going to pass it again, go end zone, and Brandon Flowers, I went for the user pick, but Roddy White's going to come down with the touchdown, so 14 to nothing. I'm on offense again, trying to get something going, and well... That's an interception I throw far too often. I always think maybe I can fit it over that guy's head, but I can't. I never do. I don't know. I have to get better about that, but it's 21-3. to I got a field goal eventually, and now he's going to go long, and it's just a nightmare. This time it's Calvin Johnson, my absolute least favorite player to play against in Madden 12. Second and six team on offense now, and Webb looking long for Devin Hester on the go route, and just nothing's really going my way. It's 35 to 10 right here. I had a touchdown with Devin Hester later, and now this play shows what just nothing's going my way. I was in perfect position, went for the user pick with Champ Bailey, one of the best cornerbacks in the league, was off his hands into the arms of Calvin Johnson, and he scores a touchdown. So you know what? I got routed that game. I'll take my loss, but I want to go now and buy another pack and get Ed Reed. And if I'm going to have a lower rated team like I want to create and start getting rid of more of my higher rated players, there are still positions I want to focus on, and safety is one of those positions because when I play against guys, they have Calvin Johnson, Roddy White, they have a lot of guys that can go deep, and I need to have safeties that can ball hawk and make up for the lack of corners I might have later or something because I want to have like maybe an 86, 87 overall team and obviously I'll have to cut some great players in order to do that. But all right, let's jump into another game here. Joe Webb in the Vikings uniforms is going to hit Brandon Marshall for a six-yard first down. And now third and three for Joe Webb under pressure. He looks left, and I don't understand why the out route has so many guys that don't turn their heads. I mean, especially Brandon Marshall. He's a pretty good player, but he's got to catch that ball, at least go for it. And then I force a three and out. Almost got an interception. Probably should have had that one. So fourth night, he's going to put the ball away. And I'm going to be back returning with Devin Hester. And I'm still looking for my very first punt return for a touchdown in Madden 12. I'm going to start off right with Devin Hester. Get past midfield, spin left, and it's a good return. But I'm still waiting for that very first punt return touchdown in this game. I don't know when it's going to happen. Arian Foster now on the ground game. And I got some good blockers on this team. I've always focused on my guards running between the tackles, and so now I get forced into third and 20 after taking a sack. And I'm going to take off with Joe Webb. I wanted to at least make it a more makeable field goal distance, but instead Joe Webb is going to pick up the first down, 25 yards on the scramble. And now third and two Webb play action. He's under pressure. He's going to try to find Greg Olson, and Greg cannot come up with it. So I go up 3-0 with a Janikowski field goal. Back on defense now. We're in the second quarter, third and two. He's looking for some Wildcat, and that's probably the best defense I'll ever play on any Wildcat play. Lawrence Timmons is going to drill Darren Sproles for a loss, and he's going to go for it on fourth and five, and he's going to find Rob Gronkowski, 
and he's going to get a first down to the 49-yard line. So he goes for it, gets the first down. Now he has it at my 49-yard line, and he's going to go back to Gronkowski. I kind of left that portion of the field open, and he took advantage of that. So another first down is in my territory now at my 40-yard line, and he's going to be out of the shotgun. He's going to set up a screen right side. He's got good blocking, and I'm trying to track him down. We finally tackle Barry Sanders at the 17-yard line, push him out of bounds. And then he works his way to my one yard line, he's out of the shotgun, looking left, and there's Rob Gronkowski once again. And with that, he will take the lead 7-3, to three, and there's a minute and a half before halftime, so I'm trying to get something going, second and five, Webb. He's going to find Fred Davis, and what kind of tackle was that? Let's just take another look here, Namdi Asimov, one of the best corners, and I don't even know what to call that. Third and eight later, though, I'm going to look for my slot receiver, Devin Hester, and I might have to move him to number four or something because he is not working out right now. Second and six, he's got the ball. We're in the second quarter still, just before halftime. He's going to take a shot deep. I'm getting in position, and I'll pick that off. User interception with Antoine Winfield and trying to let my blocks get established, doing some unique running, weaving in and out of defenders, and eventually I will get tracked down at the 47-yard line. But returning interception is one of the most fun things for me to Matt in Madden, and I absolutely love doing it. And then I catch him off guard with a draw to Arian Foster, and I'm going to get to the 40-yard line, which is definitely makeable for Sebastian Janikowski. So here... I want to take a shot at the end zone with six seconds left. I'm confident I can get this done in five seconds. Leave some time on the clock. Take a shot for Brandon Marshall. It's overthrown. I have a second left on the clock like I wanted. And so I bring out Sebastian Janikowski to kick the 57-yarder. And he's going to boot it through no problem. And I have a one-point deficit now coming out of the third quarter. I am on defense. Rodgers out of the shotgun. He's got Barry Sanders to his left. He's back to pass. Pass rush incoming, he gets a pass off right, and I had a flat zone right there with Champ Bailey, and I wanted a user in case he went for Rob Gronkowski in the first place. I was targeting him, I knew he wanted to throw to him, so I got the pick, and now second and six, I pitched it out for Arian Foster, and I'm trying to turn the corner, and I get the first down at least. But we skip ahead here to third and 12, I got best to my left, Webb out of the shotgun, Calls a hot route and then back to pass. Pretty good protection. He's going to step up and he evades the defender. And Webb, first down and more. He's hit at the two and he is going to fall into the end zone. And so I get my first touchdown, go up 13 to 7 behind the immaculate Joe Webb. And now we're in the fourth quarter. I have a six point lead and I'm bringing the heat with Barry Cofield and he tries to find his receiver. He actually has Barry Sanders out there and he gets decked and can't hang on, so he's going to go for it from his own 34 on 4th and 10. Brought some pressure with Cameron Wake, and the pass over the middle falls incomplete. So I'll take over. Excellent field position. That's why I don't go for it on 4th like that in this situation. And I'm going to hit Brandon Marshall on the curl route, one of my favorite routes to run. And now Webb to pass on 2nd and 4, and he finds Greg Olson for another 1st down. So now we're in a goal-to-go -go situation. Webb at the two-yard line, he has two tight ends, two receivers left, and I try to hit the curl route to Fred Davis, and the timing, you have to be good with your timing on that because otherwise that's going to happen right there. Interception by Ed Reed, I forced the fumble with Brandon Marshall, but he picked it back up and really dodged a bullet as he's back on offense. He's going to go deep. I'm trying to get the user with Antrail roll, and I, I don't do a great job, but the pass is still going to be batted away, nearly intercepted. And with three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, connection drops. This is honestly like the very first time this has ever happened to me. And I went on the PlayStation website to see if for some reason the server was down. Because this game was played like 9 in the morning. I get up at pretty early times. And I didn't see anything about the server being down. And then I went to Twitter and I saw some people were wondering if the PSN was down. And then I got back on a couple minutes later. I'm not sure what the issue was, but I got a loss for it and... I really want to get a victory with Joe Webb. I'll go for it in the next episode. And so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.